uh, we're going to go ahead and make a project. I want that project on this FireWire drive so I can keep everything together. I'm going to control click that FireWire drive and I can say new project. I'll also name it Gambert and it makes my timeline. So now I'm going to go ahead and I can go back to either view. If I go back to the icon view, I'll still see my markers. I'm going to go ahead and mark it in and out by just dragging the uh, range selection here to encompass all three of those markers. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in my timeline. And as you see, when I put it in the timeline, the markers are still there. Okay. If I want to get to these markers on the timeline, if I open up the timeline index window located at the bottom left of the timeline, I click it this uh, index window opens up and I want to go ahead and see my markers so I'm going to go click the tags button here and right away my markers show up and if I had other things in here and I just wanted to see the markers I can click just the marker button and it shows just my markers and again when you click on those markers in the timeline index window the playhead will go right to that marker in the timeline which can save you a lot of time when you're navigating through the timeline fixing stuff or you have to go back to a certain area um, you don't have to drag across the whole timeline to find it you can just click on the marker and the playhead will go right there this can speed up the time of editing quite a bit when you get to the uh, final stages also I can use these markers for other things such as a to-do item so here if I want to let's say color correct this area here I put the playhead here or I can put the skimmer maybe I want the skimmer there it's gonna to go to the skimmer first and I hit MM on the keyboard again the marker button comes up but this time I want to say um, color correct and make this a to-do item so I go ahead and say color correct I say make to-do item and you can see that the marker is red and not blue so this indicates that you have um, a certain job to do in this area of the timeline and here's the note I hit done and I'll put a couple to do items here so maybe just randomly I might want to put a speed effect here so I'll hit MM on the keyboard twice again the window pops up and I'll put speed oops, speed effect and hit done actually not hit done but hit make to do item first so it turns red and then hit done. So now I have two red to do items and I'll go ahead and put a third one on this walkthrough. And I'll hit MM on the keyboard again twice. And I'll put um, just randomly a black and white effect that I might want to do here. I make this a to do item too. So I hit done. And so now I have um, markers and I have things that I have to do in the timeline that I might do on the next pass. If I want to see those to-do items I can click the show to-do items window and when I click it here are all my to-do items here. And again if I click on the actual to-do item so I want to call correct I can actually go right to that area so I can start working on it without having to find it. So super easy to uh, mark things out and find them and uh, when I do get done with a to-do item I can do either two things I can get on the marker and hit M again and that window will come up I can hit completed okay that will disappear from your to-do items window when I hit done and it will turn green instead which means you have finished the task I can also if I finish the task I can hit right in this uh, box here where it's red and if I click that that also uh, turns it green and, and tells you that you finished that task. If I want to see all the things that I've done that I've finished in the to-do items I can say show completed to-do items by hitting this icon. Now it shows me my completed to-do items. So I can click on each item and it will take the playhead right to that frame. If I click this check mark off on say on the black and white effect like let's say maybe I really didn't get done and I thought I was but now I has to go back to to do I can click that check mark and when I go back to my things that I have to do that is back into that window so that's a great way to organize your timeline 
a couple other buttons you can use to organize are these three buttons right here. Um, if we go ahead and click into the event browser and a clip, you'll see that these three buttons light up. And basically what the green star does, if I click on a clip that I, I really like, and I don't really want to name it, but I want to just tag it as something I like, I can just hit this green star and it puts a green line through the clip here. Okay, and that's all it does really. You can't really name it, it just puts a green line there. So maybe I want to go through my clips and say I like this one, or maybe this is a good one. So that's like a basic way of organizing the clip. This yellow, this um, empty star here will remove that, that marking. So if you click it, then that green line is removed. So you can you know put these on and off as you want. This X here, what this will do is put a red line in your clip. So if I hit this X, it puts a red line and it also sometimes switches to hide the rejected. Okay, so that disappears from your uh, event browser or seemingly. So I hit this red X, it puts a red line and it disappears from the event browser. And that's only because this drop down is saying hide rejected. If I want to see all those red clips, I can just say show me all the clips. Okay, and, and those reds will pop up. So it's another way of sifting through footage. Uh, it doesn't actually erase anything. It just really, you can hide these red uh, X clips out, you know, just by going up here. Um, you hit the X and it puts the red mark and then you, you can say hide the rejected ones so you're not looking at them in the browser. So that's another way that you can tag your clips, you know, to make it easier to find things. So that's the basics of organizing your project in Final Cut X before you start cutting. And I hope you enjoyed it. And again, my name is John Burns from FinalCutProClasses.com. And hopefully I'll get another tutorial up soon. Thank you.